Hello everyone, I'm Grizzly, welcome to this review. Today I'm talking about the Canon Legria Mini Full HD Camera. Well, first of all, a little consideration. Uh, actually, I'm referring to the Legria Mini because I own this camera for... Uh, now I own the, uh, this camera for a while. However, I know that there is another model of the Canon cameras which has the same characteristics but it's called the Canon Vixia Mini. And I believe that basically the, uh, I'm talking of the same camera, but this camera comes in Europe with the name Legria Mini and in both the United States and Canada with the name Vixia Mini. However, though the name is different, uh, we're talking of the same camera. First of all, we're talking of a 12 megapixel full HD 1920 per 1080 pixels. Uh, we're talking of a camera with a fixed lens uh, uh, with an opening of 160 degrees for videos and uh, 170 degrees for photos. Able to take photos in 4000 per 3000 pixels and um, with a focus uh, that starts from 0.4 meters to infinite and uh, the camera has a 2.7 inches uh, capacitive touch screen that support DLN, uh, DLNA server and has on the front uh, position a stereo microphone now let's analyze the camera well the first thing you will notice is that is pretty lightweight. It's around 160 grams without batteries and the battery is around 10 to 12 grams. Now externally the first thing you will see is the touch screen. Then if we turn we have the first little door. Let me get closer. Okay. Uh, the first door that covers both the HDMI connector which is this one and the external power supply connector which is this one and then the power switch that will uh, open uh, and close also the lid that covers the lens then you have the stereo microphone and when we turn the other side this is the um, key that is used to take pictures and another little door which covers both the SD card, the TF card connector is able to uh, contain a micro SD card and the USB connector which uh, allows you to connect the camera to a computer via the micro USB connector. Uh, this space that is the same on the other side is just for attach a little string. Okay, uh, on the back there is the battery cover which opens like that and a little hook for the battery and the, under the camera there is the one quarter inch uh, attached for a standard tripod and this little thing which is a foldable foot which allows you to put the camera somewhere both in this kind of position or if you put high also in this position which is uh, comfortable to use the camera to put the camera in some place that will be somehow a panoramic way. Now, let's turn on the camera and see what happens. Just after the turn, the camera turns on and the video appears on the screen. Uh, let's consider this. The video can be opened by this way and allows you to operate by looking what are you filming why are you using the camera and the video can also be rotated to this position that allows you to realize a selfie or to realize a video in this case is operating in mirror mode uh, the camera is also uh, capable of understanding if it's upright or if, if it's inverted. Uh, at this moment you see the comments are on the uh, lower part of the screen. If I should invert the camera, uh, the camera automatically determines that it has been inverted and uh, still will film uh, in, the upside, in the upright position, even if uh, it has been inverted. Let's talk about video quality. Uh, let me start recording. So here we are. 
uh, a single beep uh, is the symptom that is recording. You may see the time that is going uh, on uh, on this part of the screen, and the record button which has turned to a little square to uh, means okay. Now you may stop. Um, what is good of this camera? Uh, def what is positive? Definitely a superior video and audio quality. There are a lot of functions for both the video and the audio. Uh, you can access these functions, let me put here, yeah, uh, with this home command. Um, you will have a um, way to make uh, uh, images, which is automatic, uh, or um, a kitchen mode, a uh, sport mode for um, rapid movements, a uh, uh, night mode to have nice uh, night images without blurring when uh, it's pretty dark. On the contrary, there is a position called beach, uh, which uh, is ideal when you have a lot of sun, and even a position snow when there is mm, very much uh, sun and, uh, for example, a clear environment. Uh, port, uh, a part called macro to realize uh, um, very near images and macros. More than this, there is also a, an audio uh, related uh, uh, scene. For example, uh, since I record my videos in my car, there is a way that is called uh, noise suppression, uh, especially if uh, I'm uh, shooting videos uh, during a windy operation or if I'm shooting videos in my car, that is my example, and the audio is pretty good, but there are also a, pre a standard uh, audio, a pre-programmed audio for music, a pre-programmed audio for spoken, uh, if I have just to record my voice for this, uh, for natural to uh, capture also the smallest noise. And now, uh, again, let me record for a while. I will put uh, this video during montage to let you appreciate also the um, quality of the, the audio quality of this camera, as you may see. Sorry for the different for the different audio. I'm shooting, as you may see. In a video uh, with a shotgun microphone uh, on my standard DSLR camera. Okay, let's stop it. Well, let's talk of positive things of the Legria Mini. Uh, first of all, I uh, told the superior video and audio quality. This camera also has Wi Fi control and can be connected uh, to a smartphone. And via connection uh, to Wi Fi, you're able to control almost any function of the camera. Let me take my phone and show you something. The camera has a name which is Legri uh, something. I have to connect to my mobile phone with... Uh, OK, here we are, I'm connecting the phone. Now I will launch the camera access application. Here we are. Oh, I will turn down the volume, otherwise there will be there's a little delay. But uh, at this moment, I'm controlling p perfectly controlling my camera with my phone. I may start recording. I may do anything I want. So I may just put the camera somewhere uh, not really nearby and control the camera via the phone. It has also a good video quality, uh, both on backlight, on a lot of backlight, or on a lot of darkness with no blur, and uh, it is pretty interesting. And I may say this camera is basically a lot YouTube dedicated. It's dedicated to YouTubers to create those. And but let's talk about the negative things of this camera. First of all, this camera comes just with the battery adapter to recharge battery but with no power supply it allows an external power supply device but you have to buy it separately um, the, uh, when you connect the external power you are not going to recharge the battery so to charge the battery you have to basically remove the battery from the camera and insert into the battery charger to recharge the battery 
Uh, of course, the battery charger requires a standard socket. There is an underwater case for this camera, it's, not, uh, it's always sold separately, it's not included. But this underwater um, case only allows you to access the uh, side button, except the side button will just take pictures. So you have basically to start recording, then close the camera into the underwater case. There is uh, no one-touch recording common, like for example the GoPro. Um, there is this fisheye effect in, on short distance that can be a little messy. Um, there is another thing which is pretty weird. Uh, this camera is able to realize time-lapse, uh, take a picture every 10 seconds, every 30 seconds, every minute, every 5 minutes and so on, something like that. But really, uh, this camera does not take a picture, instead will record one second every related time, so it's a pretty weird time-lapse. Um, also, this camera does not have any kind of flash or any kind of lights to operate, so just the display, so you have to uh, have external light. And there is no way to turn off the LCD while recording, so the battery life is not so extended. In standard Full HD I'm usually able to, re uh, to record with the display turned on around an hour before the battery goes down. Uh, there is also strange behavior. The camera doesn't create multiple files. If you, when you stop recording and start recording again, it will create another file. But when you start recording, it doesn't split the file in multiple files. So it will continue recording. Even a pretty huge file is around uh, three gigabytes for um, maybe 20 minutes of videos. But it has a good behavior that if the battery is going pretty low before dying it will save what has been recorded and then it will turn off automatically. So that's it, I hope this uh, was useful. Uh, if you are interested in uh, other views like this or other vlogs like the one you may find in my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you appreciated this, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Okay, that's all for today, so I'm Grizzly, thanks for strolling around, thanks for watching and I'll see you with the next review. Bye!